President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu uh, will not uh, be on ballot if there is a rerun in the Labour Party. Now, as it comes, that's how we're going to dish it out. The OB that he campaigned suggests uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu won't uh, participate in a rerun election, pointing to strong evidence uh, presented, presented at the presidential election petition court in Abuja. President Tinubu recently called on the court's uh, justices to leave out the uh, Labour Party's uh, candidate, uh, Peter B, in any rerun presidential uh, on any rerun of a presidential election, uh, stating only he and the PDP's article Salvaka are eligible. <laughs> uh, lawyers uh, representing Tinubu. And uh, all progressive uh, Congress, APC, have urged uh, the court to bar Obi from a rerun, given he, him, uh, he plays a third in the initial race. Wow. Now, however, the Labour Party branded uh, Tinumbu's uh, lawyer's stance as an effort to impose his view on the justices. Uh, the campaign believes that, that uh, based on evidence, Tinubu wouldn't uh, be a, a contender in a rerun. The spokesperson and the head of uh, media of the organization, uh, Diron Onifade, in an interview with uh, This Day, opined that Tinubu's moves, especially the push to exclude OB and his uh, challenges uh, to the election outcome in Kano uh, signaled his loss of votes in states like uh, Rivers and uh, Benue also, respectively. Now, he said uh, if there will be a second election, it will be between the top two. Uh, Tinubu will not be among the top two because all the issues we raised are enough to disqualify him. The certificate forgery the drug uh, trafficking for feature and uh, the invalid uh, nomination of his uh, vice, etc etc all those things uh, would have disqualified him in the first uh, place and so he's not going to be on the ballot all these things that his lawyers are doing are just uh, to make him uh, comfortable they have uh, misled him and are also trying to mislead and would wink the justices. The justices are not uh, foolish. They are claiming that uh, the constitution uh, says that even if it's true that he has a case of forfeiture, then after 10 years, you have uh, been declared. But that is not true. They are just been clever by half. The section of the constitution they are talking about has so many subsections and only one of them has a 10-year um, moratorium and it doesn't cover any. They are claiming that the constitution says that even if it's true that he has a case of forfeiture, then after 10 years you have been cleared. But that is not true. They are just being clever by half the section of the constitution that they are talking about has so many subsections and only one of them has the 10-year moratorium and it doesn't cover him. Uh, speaking on the claim that OB came third, Onifade said, said, so if there is going to be another election, the man would have been disqualified. We talked about the figure we put together from River State and Bune State, it didn't even address those at all. When you remove what they stole in Rivers and Bune State and you had to be, uh, their own figures would have gone down and OB wouldn't be in the third position again. When questioned if the uh, figures in Rivers and Bune State uh, would be enough to displace either Chinubu or Atiku, he said the issue was still uh, subsidized, adding, however, that for the APC and Tinubu to come from behind to challenge the results in Kano in the last minute, while on the other end appealing to exclude Obi from a, pos uh, from a possible rerun, 
has left a lot uh, to be desired. Now, he also noted, we can't uh, prejudice, uh, prejudge the tribunal. But let's say, for the sake of your question, if you remove 1 million from 8 million, it will go down to 7 million. And when you add that 1 million to 6 uh, million, and that will amount to 7 million also. Uh, we have a professor who did all the calculations. It's a pity that we didn't have the time to carry out uh, the calculations nationwide. They know it's uh, damaging to them. Then, if not, how come that a state like Kano, that we are not even uh, contesting with them, was brought to the tribunal to challenge that votes were stolen from them in Kano? Only for the query. He also explained that uh, the uh, APC calculation is that by the time what they stole from Rivers and Ben May states are deducted, their votes would have gone down and if the tribunal grants them what they claimed they lost in Kano, it might make up for what is deducted from them. Even those of us who are a layman, uh, know that their lawyers are playing mind games because it's one thing they would say in the evidence they have tendered and it's another that their witnesses will say under oath. For instance, under oath, Senator Okayemi Bamidele admitted that the man forfeited money and it's about the narcotics uh, trafficking. He admitted that under oath, the same for future they have been going about saying that it's a civil case. Then again, the in INEC, uh, Independent National Electoral Commission INEC witness, even though it tendered a document that the uploading on IREV was not part of the mandatory process. In his testimony before the justice changed it and said the process include uploading through the IREV. The court document that they tendered, they said the case was about narcotic uh, trafficking, that, ne that the exact words in that document. And then the certificate issue, the one it presented to INEC, was not issued by the university. That's a forgery. That is a forgery. What did I say? It says that's a forgery. Now, in this case, so President Tinubu will not uh, be on ballot if there is a rerun. The uh, Labour Party has claimed on that. And um, to them, a believer uh, OB, you know, won the election, or rather OB vote was stolen from River State and from Benue State. Well, this is what I'm going to draw the curtain. I like to share views in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel at Independent TV7. Thanks for listening and God bless you.